So what exactly is Skylanders? To some, it might be a toy line. To some, it might be an animated TV series. But it all started with this little guy right here, Spyro the Dragon. Spyro's Adventure came out in October 2011 and was originally planned to be a continuation of the Spyro the Dragon series. Developer Toys for Bob decided to gear the new Skylanders series towards a younger audience who have no prior knowledge of the Spyro games. A Toys to Life method was introduced, which allowed physical toy figures to interact with your on-screen game playing through an RFID chip in the bottom of each toy. When placed on the portal of power accessory, the RFID chip sends a wireless signal to the portal, which can upload and save data directly to the system. The story behind Spyro's adventure is that the player is the portal master, who can control over 30 different Skylander characters. In the game itself, we learn how the banished Dark Portal Master Chaos returns to the Skylands worlds and destroys the Core of Light, a machine that repels the darkness. As the darkness takes over, the Skylanders characters drift farther away from their world, shrinking until they reach Earth, frozen as toy figures. It is up to the player, the Portal Master, to return these toy figures back to their Skylands world, collect eight eternal elemental sources, restore the Core of Light, and defeat Chaos, banishing him from the Skylands once again. Spyro's Adventure was planned to be a Nintendo Wii exclusive release, but received an updated high definition release on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and computer. This led to some different motion control playstyles across all the platforms. The Vicarious Visions 3DS version feels more like an action platformer with a completely different plot and no co-op play. The Japan ports came out in 2013 from Square Enix and was the only Wii U release. There was also a Mega Pack for the Nintendo Wii, PlayStation 3, and 360. It included two extra figure packs. In the same month as Spyro's Adventure, the web-based Skylanders universe was also launched. Create your own Skylands world or visit others. Play minigames or even check on your Skylanders figures as each toy has a 10 digit code that can be entered to upload data without a portal of power. Skylanders Universe was shut down on April 29th, 2013 and replaced by a site hosting just the minigames. Toy sales were over three times higher than Activision anticipated. This brought on the making of a sequel and plenty mobile games. The first mobile game, Cloud Patrol, was available on March 28, 2012 for iPhone and iPad for 99 cents from Vicarious Visions. This touch shooter included over 30 different Skylanders and allowed the use of any figure already owned. It was also later made available to Android but discontinued services in 2016. A series of books also came out in 2012, The Machine of Doom and The Mask of Power. Both series were written as prequels to the Spyro's Adventure series and were published by Grosset and Dunlap. The second mobile game, Lost Islands, also launched by Vicarious Visions for iOS devices on October 6, 2012. Players had to collect gold and gems to build houses in the Mabu village which were destroyed by chaos. This game was also released on Android in November 2013, but was discontinued for all devices on August 22, 2017. Right around the same time as Lost Islands, Battlegrounds was released on October 14, 2012, also by Vicarious Visions, for iOS and Android. The app costed $6.99 and was also bundled with a starter pack for $49.99. Play with two characters at once and swap out during battles for the first time. Defeat four warlords by fighting hordes of enemies. The game was removed from the App Store in 2016. Within one full year, Activision announces that Skylanders has sold over 30 million figures and has become the top selling game worldwide of 2012. We then got to see the sequel to Spyro's Adventure on October 17, 2012. Skylanders Giants was the second console game to be released and came out to 3DS, PS3, Wii, 360, and then the Wii U on its November 18th launch date. The NTSC region also got a blue system bundle, as well as the PlayStation 3 Slim and the PAL region. There was also a portal pack for the Wii, 360, PS3, 3DS, and the computer for the PAL region. The story starts off 10,000 years ago where the Skylands is ruled by an evil race of giant robots called the Archeans. The Skylanders and Giants go to war with the robots and remove the source of power, the Iron Fist of Arcus. This sends the Giants back to Earth as toys for the player to use. Chaos finds out about the Iron Fist and takes control to lead the Archeans. Stop Chaos by removing the Iron Fist while playing over 40 new figures. A new head-to-head -head battle mode and glowing light core figures are introduced. After the success of the Skylanders Giants game, we saw the franchise expand to include other toy lines such as Mega Bloks and McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Skylanders showed no signs of slowing down. The third console release came out in October 2013. Skylanders Swap Force was available on 3DS, Wii, Wii U, PS3, PS4, 360, and Xbox One. 
This Vicarious Visions developed game also included a Dark Edition starter pack, which was an exclusive to GameStop stores. There was also a Walmart Super Bundle for Wii, 360, and PlayStation 3. Swamp Force was also bundled for the Nintendo Wii U with a white 8GB console in the North America NTSC region and PAL regions. Swap Force introduced a new portal accessory and two-piece figures with interchangeable characteristics. Swap out the top and bottom halves of these 16 new figures to create a total of 256 new combinations. Stop Chaos from turning the four elementals evil and save the Skylands. The Skylanders Collection Vault was then launched for iOS on November 26, 2013 from Activision. This app allowed you to view and manage your collection for free, or share stats and battle with friends. This app has since been removed from the stores. In October 2014, we got to see the release of Skylanders Trap Team from Toys for Bob, Beanox, and Vicarious Visions on Android, iOS, 3DS, Wii, Wii U, PS3, PS4, 360, and Xbox One. Trap Team included the most bundle options, with the PAL regions getting a console bundle for the Wii U. Crayola also teamed up to make a black and white slipcover, the Color Alive edition. It included a pack of crayons to draw on the slipcover. The Super Bundle Pack was offered closer to the holidays and included extra figure packs. This is known to be one of the hardest Wii U variants to find. A Dark Edition was also released alongside the standard starter pack. This game introduces trap keys, which can be used with the Portal of Power. Users can now control new enemies which Chaos has freed from the Cloudcracker prison. Save the Skylands once again by returning the escaped villains. Superchargers then came out in September 2015 for PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Nintendo Wii U, and shortly after for iOS on October 18th. The Wii and 3DS versions came out with only the racing options to play. This Vicarious Visions and Phenox release included 20 new figures including exclusive Donkey Kong and Bowser figures for the Nintendo Starter Packs. A Dark Edition set was also packaged with the game. Amazon pre-orders for the Dark Edition included an extra stealth elf figure inside of the box. Germany received a Wii U and PS4 Super Deal bundle. This is the first game in the series to include vehicles. It focused roughly 50% of the gameplay around driving. The mission this time is to stop chaos and the darkness by destroying the Sky Eater. This brought on our next mobile app, Skylanders Battlecast for iOS, Android, and Kindle Fire. This Beachhead Studios game was released on May 24, 2016 and shut down shortly after its first year on June 30, 2017. This Cards to Life game allows players to collect and build a real-life physical deck which can be scanned into the game using devices mobile cameras instead of a portal of power. Battle with character cards from all games with a 30 card deck in solo play, against friends, or in casual PvP. Between the releases of Trap Team and Superchargers, IDW started printing a series of comic books for each game, various micro comics, and the Spyro and Friends series issues. The IDW comic line was discontinued in 2018 to avoid any conflict with the Skylanders Academy animated series. Vicarious Visions also released two employee exclusive art books, Strata and Clutch. The Skylanders animated series was developed by Activision Blizzard Studios and premiered on October 28, 2016 on Netflix. The voice cast included names like Justin Long, who plays the leader Spyro, Norm Macdonald as Glumshanks, and Catherine O'Hara as Chaos's mother, Chaos Sandra. It was produced with Futurama writer Eric Rogers and lasted three seasons with 38 episodes. Our last console release then came out in October 2016 for Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Wii U. Skylanders Imaginators. This Toys for Bob game also followed on the Switch for its launch date on March 3rd, 2017. A Dark Edition was released like the prior three games, and there was also a Portal Owner's Pack Edition for people who already own prior starter packs with a Portal. Users can now create their own Skylanders characters to defeat Chaos and his army of Doomlanders now that the ancient mind magic has been unleashed into the Skylands. There are now over 300 figures to play as in this newest release and even features Crash Bandicoot from the Sony line. The Skylanders Creator app was released right around the same time as Imaginators and allowed players to customize and create their characters while on the go. It was available on iOS, Android, and Kindle Fire before being removed from the App Store in 2018. There was a 3D printable figure option and even a card and t-shirt customization option. Our latest mobile game, Skylanders Ring of Heroes, came out in December 2018 and received a recent updated version in December 2020. This Calm to Us title is a turn-based RPG featuring 80 different characters. Play PvP or PvE adventures and go after Chaos who has disrupted time and space with the Book of Dark Magic. Level up, evolve, and battle your Skylanders to victory.
So where does that leave our fearless leader Spyro and the Skylander series now? We haven't had a console release since 2016 or a new mobile game since 2018. Both last console releases, Superchargers and Imaginators, both fell under sales expectations. Even other Toy to Life series like Disney Infinity and Lego Dimensions have discontinued. Even the recent Ubisoft Starlink Battle for Atlas Toy to Life game also fell below sales expectations. There is however a new leak that Spyro will be receiving a PS5 title later this year by Toys for Bob. But no new news on any Skylanders since a leak in June of last year. Is this the dying era of Toys to Life? Will we see Skylanders continue on the mobile universe? Comment below with any ideas. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.